Welcome to Kerbal Knot Training, where we test the best hand-picked Kerbals who have been picked by someone, we're still not sure about that, to train to be a Kerbal Knot, to go into the outer spaces, to go and carry the Kerbal Knot flag to other worlds, and even further, depending on what mods you have installed. These Kerbal Knots will go through the most rigorous training. First, there'll be their physical training. Then there will be the mental training, where they will endure some horrific things, like the space cracking. We all must survive the space cracking. All hail the space cracking. The Kerbals must also learn specific tasks that will be required for their job. They also must be enthusiastic and willing to grow within the company. But most of all, they have to live. They have to survive what you guys throw at them. Though most of the time they do not, they must try and they must smile unless they're going to die. For every Kerbal must strive to reach for the skies into space to somewhere beyond. Each Kerbal must pass a specific amount of tests, one in which where they must capture a rocket. Most of them do not. Most of them fail this test, but as with every Kerbal knot, they must try again. They must succeed, but sometimes they do succeed and they die in the process, never reaching the space in which they have dreamt of. And if they survive, they must carry on the test. They must prove themselves worthy. They must survive the stretcher to see if they can faint, obviously. And also, can they be stretched? Will they survive? Or will they be pulled out of existence? I was quite interested with this test because I have never done it before. If they survive this test, which this Kerbal Knot appears to have survived, those Kerbal Knots who survive know that they can go on to the next test. And here I am filling some dead air by just talking in an awesome voice while our Kerbal Knot celebrates his victory. After the stress test, they must endure the squash test, mainly because now they will not fit into the command pod, because they have been stretched too much. On this test, they must ensure that they can be squashed against a surface and survive. Warning, most Kerbals do not survive this test. Lucky for this Kerbal, he did survive. But those Kerbals who have survived must now endure one more test, the test of bravery. Will they do it or will they chicken out? The test is to jump off the vehicle assembly building. And this Kerbal seems to be celebrating this test. He has gotten far, but will he make it over the ledge? And he does. He hits the ground, he bounces off. His courage is low, but his stupidity is even higher. This Kerbal Knot has survived. He will go into space and beyond. Now though, it is time for our Kerbal Knot to party! Let's party, let's party, let's party, let's party, let's party. Let's party, let's party, oh yeah. Gotta love the tunes. Note, we ensure that all health and safety is observed during these tests. No Kerbal Knot is purposely harmed. We just like it that they do when they do get harmed. <laughs>